Hey you guys, happy Friday. This is Nina. Like, share, and subscribe. And please check me out on Twitter at Love Radio 44132. And tonight we have a lot of drama going. Tonight we will be talking about Doji Cat and all of this controversial stuff that broke on uh, Twitter and Instagram today. So, buckle up you guys, this is about to get messy. Let's just get straight into this hot mess. I don't even know where to start at. Um, People have been digging up information about Doji Cat, her past uh, tweets, her current activities online, and it's just too much to absorb here. Uh, First of all, I'm definitely going to speak out and condemn all of this information uh, that I'm hearing today. I mean, first it was Joe Biden's crazy remarks, now it's Doja Cat. I mean, I wish somebody would make this Friday make sense for me. Please make it make sense. Like, I don't even know where to start at with Doja, but I'm just going to try. Okay, so let's just start with one element of this crazy story. So, this is alleged. People have allegedly dug up information from social media dating all the way back to 2015 and up to about six days ago that Doji Cat um, has been doing some very questionable stuff with several alt right uh, members, basically. Caucasian supremacist groups. Um, allegations include stripping, doing questionable stuff for them, making them call her the N word during um, um, sex. She's also alleged to have made homophobic slurs and made fun of Sandra Bland's death. Now, anyone that is not familiar with Sandra Bland, Uh, She is the woman that was put in jail. I believe this happened in Texas. And she was later found uh, deceased in jail under circumstances which are still kind of questionable. Uh, Doja Cat is also uh, being accused of mocking police brutality against blacks. Uh, anti-Asian comments, um, gratuitous and sexual references uh, to the Hindu God, and uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Now, like I said, this is literally a week after her say-so single with uh, Nicki Minaj blew up on the charts, okay, blew up on the charts, which also charted with uh, Beyonce and Megan Thee Stallion Savage, and, you know, last week was a good week for rap, rapping females, Uh, that was the first time that this happened, however, this Doji Cat incident has just completely erased all of that, and Social media is just going nuts right now. Now, this is only the tip of the iceberg of information. There is more stories. Uh, People are saying that they got a hold of screenshots from her chat rooms where she's excessively using the N-word in a very derogatory nature toward uh, black men. Uh, she's also playing up the white white card uh, with white people, discriminating against black people, and basically saying that uh, you know she does not want to be referenced as black allegedly, and um, she doesn't care about black people, but at least she's thick and light skinned. Uh, This is according to her words that were screenshotted, allegedly. This has not been 
um, absolutely verified just yet. However, this information is very damning. Um, also, um, with her using the N-word excessively, I mean, this is just going on and on and on here. Uh, she made a, um, a, a song that basically made fun of police brutality against minorities. So, she's basically, allegedly, uh, laughing about this. Um, also, somebody found an Instagram live, and they screenshotted it, where they're saying that she was doing uh, favors for the alt-right, including um, sexually derogatory acts, discussing black people in a derogatory way, and basically, again, excessively using the N-word. Um, I'm going to say this. I'm going to use the words alleged right now. I'm just going to use the words alleged. But I'm going to tell you this, that to the way that she allegedly has fed into all of these various stereotypes concerning African-American people, the way she has fed off of the African-American culture in order to line up her own pocket. And sadly enough, this comes after her breaking a record and actually uh, getting to that top spot on the billboard seven days ago. Um, all this information coming out right now is very sad and disturbing to me. Um, I will definitely say in my own words, my own opinion about this, I will not be purchasing any of her songs. I will not be supporting her. Um, anyone else that is feeling as offended as I am, you're rightfully so to have your own thought process on how you would like to handle this. Uh, for me, I am out of this. Um, I feel like I don't know what is going on with these celebrities in quarantine, but this is just out of pocket, out of hand, and completely disrespectful. Um, I've never seen uh, this type of behavior so blatant and so in your face. And then to profit and make fun of people uh, being uh, deceased in police brutality uh, with, you know, it, it's just tragic. It's tragic. And I'm just going to say this, because like I said, I try to stay neutral. I'm not going to tell you guys what you should or should not do. However, I am not supporting her anymore. I am very sad that this information is allegedly coming out. As of this point, I have not heard of her publicist or herself coming out with any statements. However, I am sure in the next uh, few hours, sooner than later, someone repping her or herself will come out with some BS to try to clean up this mess. Um, personally, if it's true, these allegations, um, like I said, it's, it's very sickening that you would discuss any culture like this, especially the black culture, and basically making all these different remarks, calling people N-words, allegedly, um, being on a white supremacist website with screen capture. People actually got screen capture. You know, these are just facts that just can't be overlooked here. You're making songs about people basically celebrating deaths of people, which is inappropriate regardless of how they died. You're basically celebrating deaths of people. You're using a, a culture that you don't really seem to be wanting to be a part of in a positive manner. And then you want to throw the light skin colorism thing out there. Basically, you're light skin and people are just going to just support you. Well, honey, that's not happening over here. Period. I'll keep my money. Now, you can go do whatever you're going to do, Doja Cat. 
Um, but the things I've seen on social media, and I've been actually looking at this for about three or four hours before I even made this video. I wanted to make sure I had as many facts to put in this as possible. But I'm going to say that this is probably the most sick story um, I've seen so far in this quarantine. I am no longer standing you. And it is very disgraceful that you finally reached the top and all of these allegations come out and it just looks so horrific and bad and no amount of apology will fix that. Those are my words. Subscribe, share, share your comment. I know it's uh, Doja Cat fans out there, I want to hear which, how you feel about this. And uh, to the next episode, you guys, uh, enjoy your evening.